What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be checking out an abandoned 1990s computer factory. A place that's kind of unique. Uh, this place was first established in 1951 and uh, up until the 1990s it was progressing and it was right up there with Apple and Microsoft in the turn of the millennium. But unfortunately for this place, Microsoft and Apple just kept upgrading and upgrading and sooner or later this company became obsolete. They just kept cutting costs, cutting workers, and they just couldn't be efficient anymore and they went bankrupt. So we're going to be going inside and checking out what remains inside this place. A lot of it is completely frozen in time, uh, naturally decaying for over almost 20 years. So it's really cool. We're going to jump in this time capsule and I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Also, huge shout out to the people at Olight. They uh, gave me a little care package of flashlights, which is awesome because with what I do, I never want to be stuck in the dark. And uh, if you guys don't want to be stuck in the dark either, if you do what I do, which is urban exploring, or you know, in case of blackouts, you can keep it in your glove box of your car, if you're going out at night, you're doing hiking, you can throw it right in a camping bag, any reason at all, these people make the best flashlights. This has max power at 1800 lumens. This is their brand new flashlight. This is the M2R Pro Warrior. You could find that in the description. I'm going to be putting links for everything. If you're watching this the week it's uploaded, um, you can get a bunch of deals because their whole website is having a bunch of offers. But if you're watching it in the future, you could use code Dark Exploration at checkout and get a discount as well. So if you guys are interested in that, check it out. Without further ado, let's jump inside this place. This was the front desk here, so you'd be greeted by a receptionist. You could see all the natural decay here. Look at all this paperwork just laying here for 30 years. Old office art left behind. Might be a little bit hard to notice on camera, but this place is filled with spider webs. I've never seen more spider webs in a place. That leads me to believe that I'm one of the first, or maybe not first, but one of very few people to enter this building at least recently. Here we have another office.
this room contains lots. And that it does. Looks like all the file history of this place is just laid out in one room. And like I said before, you could see the cobwebs just all over the door. Can't even enter this this room. Okay, here's like the actual main lobby of the place. One thing I do love about this lobby and about this building so far is that it's completely naturally decaying. I love all the greens, I love all the moss coming in this place. Just 30 years of untouched building, just leading to so much decay. We're going to go upstairs. Love these handrails. And we're going to be taking a look at some of the offices. This is awesome. I love how you could just see how gravity is just pulling this bookshelf down over time. These books have been completely stagnant for 30 years. It's the perfect representation of what life without humans would be. Pretty interesting. Check out this office at the end. Look at this. Military job. That's cool. Everything's just still here. I'm going to say it one more time, I'm actually in love with how this bookcase is decaying. It's just so crazy that over time, little by little, that just keeps on going until one day it's just going to collapse. I think it's beautiful how just nature, nature takes over. The floor here is just completely taking a new environment. Oh, look at that toilet in there, just chilling right through the wall. It's pretty nasty looking.
Ooh, look at that, it's completely rusted shut. Thought it might be cool to look at some old school first aid supplies, but it doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky here. Got all these phones here and just different office supplies just stacked up. And there's an old vacuum. Wow. This is cool. I'm guessing with all the equipment in here, it would get really hot. So they installed two air conditioners right in the wall to cool this room down as much as possible. Anybody need these? Got all this old software just thrown in here with some cleaning supplies, which is pretty uh, too little too late for this place. I'm walking through so many spider webs right now. Looks like more offices. Got a copier, the good old American flag on there. Wow, that's a thick book. 2003. This office appears to have a lot of images. They probably would take pictures of the computers for progress reports. Don't really know what I'm looking at here. This is awesome. We have all these pictures here in 1998. Oh, these are like stuck together, but these are pictures of the plant when it was active. This is super cool. I love seeing before and after pictures. That's a, that's a spooky looking picture. Oh God. What could be in here? Oof. Just 20 year old water.
Okay, we made it back into the main lobby of the corporate office. Right now, we're gonna try to go to the manufacturing part of this facility. This property has the corporate office, which we're in right now, and the factory. So we're gonna be jumping in there next. That's when we're really gonna need this light, and we're gonna see its fully, fullest potential. So I'm glad I have this. So big shout out to Olight for uh, hooking me up or else I'd be left in the dark over here. Here we have some old computers just chilling here. Some Dell. Wow. Now we're in the storage room, and it looks like the roof just completely caved in. But you actually still have product on the shelves here. So this place really went bankrupt. So bankrupt that they couldn't even remove the remaining products that were in here, and at least get some money for them. Pretty wild. Got some sort of machinery. Something would feed into this belt. Easty, Jeff Easty Enterprise. It watches temperature. It's a heater. I don't know. Spider webs in the doorway. But this office looks cool. Got some books still chilling here. Oh wow, look at this. That's cool. This is probably staff that worked here. Oh yeah, that totally is the building we're in. That's so cool. I love seeing before and after pictures of places, especially when inside. Damn, even Santa came here. This place is popping. Nice. This looks like where the assembly lines were. You got all the all the shelving for all different parts. Surprisingly, there's not much left. There's a circuit board. Yeah, so I guess these are just individual desks that people would work at, different computers. A hole in the roof is putting some natural light in here. It actually looks beautiful. Got a huge stack of computers here.
just an old graveyard for these things. Here's a computer that was in the process of being fixed, and they literally dropped the project and this place was abandoned. Didn't even finish it. Still got pallets of things. Still left here, which I'm amazed by. This is the workers' locker. Lockers. This feels creepy. Doesn't appear to be anything left in any of them. Oh, got a drawing from a kid to his father. Assuming his father was here. Could be his mother, too. Sad. Didn't even take it with him. This looks like it was a break room. Yep, microwave still here. Oh god, there's a lab coat hanging up and it scared the crap out of me. that still hanging very strange windows I wonder what had to be going down in order to press this big red button Got a sick boom box in here. That's how you know it's the 90s. Ooh, this entire wall is just filled with crickets. Oh, they're huge. Oh, that guy's like the size of my hand. Somehow, in this dark, pitch dark room, there's a, there's a little, little plant growing in the cement. How? I have no idea. No light, nothing, but yet it's growing. Okay, this is pretty cool. This might be the coolest thing here. Got two huge turbines, engines, whatever they are. They would fuel the energy for this entire place.
So it seems that this was actually just the boiler room. These are the controls. Pretty big. I wouldn't expect a boiler or two boilers this large. So I'm going to assume that a lot of the stuff that used to be in here, taking up the space, is gone, including machinery. So they did manage to take some items, not all of them, which is still cool. You still like to see the little things left behind. Not every place is a gem. You're not always going to find a location that looks as if it just closed down. But this, has, this place has a lot to it. And this is a really cool explorer. You can get lost here for hours. Alright guys, thank you for watching. That's going to be it. We explored this place to its fullest potential. Really awesome location. Um, obviously they did take some stuff out when they did leave, but they left a lot of cool stuff. And it was awesome to hop into this place and pretty much hop back in time, right into the 1990s, with all the uh, computers that were left behind. Also, huge shout out to Olight, once again. If you guys want to purchase a light, you could use code Dark Exploration for a additional percentage off your order. And um, if you guys enjoy the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more exploring videos if you please, and uh, let me know what you thought. Anyway, peace out. I'll see you guys in the next explore.